Hello. This demonstration is how to use the dome bead mould. Um, it's a simple little mould made of silicon. Uh, three pieces. It has a pin through the centre, um, which you can take out, and then you can dome your shrink plastic in there. Um, but if you put it back onto that pin, then you put your shrink plastic over the top of that, and then you retain, there will be a hole in the centre of the design that you're making. And then you have the, the top, which is the actual doming um, part of the silicon mould. Again, with a little hole in the middle, which you pop onto this pin and then push down and um, create the dome in the middle of uh, whatever shape, whether it be a flower shape, any shape at all. Right. So to start, I've got one of the pre-cut shapes, which is included in this dome um, bead mould. Um, you have several shapes. Um, you will also have a template of all of these shapes that you can then, after you've used these, um, then you can uh, revert to your template and using the A4 frosted shrink plastic, you can create your own shapes or you can create completely new shapes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a, um, a colored crayon, right? and just gently colour, just colour that in there, but very gently because as you shrink the plastic, that colour will deepen by seven times deeper really. Um, so you don't want to overdo that colouring. So I'll put a little bit of the yellow in on that one. It's quite a rough colouring, you don't have to be an artist. Um, some blue on here. And then on that very last petal, we'll just do a quick mixture of the previous colours. A little bit of the purple. And then um, I'm just going to use a permanent marker here just to create some sort of little styrations in there. As you shrink, these will delineate as they shrink and simply um, get a lot stronger in colour. So I'm just going to take the red and just go across that hole. And then using this fabulous dome mould, I'm going to have the, the pins inserted and I'm just going to pop the shrink plastic shape onto that pin, keeping my doming, the end of the doming mould handy. I'm then going to take my heat gun and I'm going to put it onto um, the higher speed because this is quite a large shape. So I'm going to turn that on and then holding it a couple of three inches above the shrink plastic, just wait for it to start to shrink, I'm just going to support that a little. There we go, see how that colour has darkened. Now that shape will completely go back to how it was originally, but a lot, lot smaller, seven times smaller. Turn off my heat gun, and then while the shrink plastic is still warm. I'm going to pop my doming mould in and then gently press down, do a little wiggle with it. It only takes seconds. Take off the domer and then literally remove the pin and pop out my gorgeous little cupped bead. And again, this has been, this doming mould has been used a lot within these designs here. Um, it's all dependent on the shape that you're using as, a, as to what end product you will get. But those little earrings there, that is virtually um, just a four petal flower, just cut a little bit deeper using the doming mould then and it's just brought them all up into that gorgeous little sort of fuchsia shape. So this is the gorgeous doming mould, simple tool, but invaluable, totally invaluable when you uh, are doing shrink plastic.